ओम श्री साई राम प्रशांति संदेश साई पर्ल्स ऑफ विजडम वेलकम्स यू वी नो भगवान एंकरेजिंग और स्टूडेंट्स इन डिस्प्लेइंग देयर फाइन आर्ट्स एंड टैलेंट्स वी हैव सिंगर्स डांसर्स कंपोजर्स experts in uh, makeup experts in making curtains stage arrangements what what not this is all due to the encouragement given by bhagwan himself it is such that they have become experts in every field talents are divine this tells us that we have to discover the talents within each and every one of us pray to bhagwan to encourage and direct us so that the divine talents can be improved give you one instance swami satya had the unique ability to sing and dance with great proficiency even at the elementary school yes decades later how swami danced on the dais and his performance was highly applauded by everybody officials and the villagers also <laughs> then i take upon the next great quality of bhagwan he is the best student in fact in one of his lectures he, he even said he doesn't remember to have opened any book and read any single page but he always stood first in the class that is the divine quality being the first in the in the class he became a favorite student uh to every teacher in the school that apart this point i want to emphasize he helped his classmates to learn and pick up the subject he was never selfish and he was never self centered decades later satya as sai baba would reveal in his talks how he helped some of his classmates learn the alphabets in those days there were no slates or books we used to write on the sand with our fingers this is what baba said satya never hesitated and grabbed every opportunity to teach his classmates each one teach one is the principle behind we also find in our university hostels schools hostels here students helping each other i know some of the senior students teaching junior students there are, there's a special provision in certain rooms where junior students would sit and a senior student would teach them this is learned from bhagwan not only that the veda veda the students recite is passed down from one generation to another generation batch after batch no teacher is ever called here no priest was invited to teach them seniors teach juniors this has been the legacy or sampradaya in vedic learning itself 
in this holy land. Now, a great quality that we notice in Bhagavan's life is this. He never hesitated to assist his family in household work. He would help his sister cook and go shopping for his father, returning with four donkeys loads of provisions. He would explain the details of his purchases and give his father the change. Correct to the last coin, impressed by the child's ability, father would observe, look how sincere and honest Satcha is and how smart at bargaining. Sometimes Satcha would even call his sister as he would help his parents in cleaning the house, fetching water from the well and doing other chores that were considered girl's work in those days. His help was needed while the parents eked out a livelihood by various means. Pedavan Kamarazu, his father, ran a grocery shop. Isarama and he would carry food grains on donkeys to sell them at the Bukkapatnam weekly market. He also worked as a liaison between the field hands and Karanam for a small commission. This is a quality that we don't find among children today. On one side they are so busy with their school work and assignments and homework and also have no intention to help parents, brothers and sisters in the family. They need assistance and in fact one can learn service from childhood. Charity begins at home. Baba displayed this spirit of service and the need to help parents, brothers and sisters and assist them. This is a great quality that we have to teach our children. The next aspect is this. At such a school, there was an interesting scheme of punishment to ensure punctuality. Whoever arrived late, irrespective of the reason, would get a taste of the cane. Those who came in first and greeted the teacher were privileged to execute the punishment. The number of cuts received depended on one's number on the list of latecomers. The later one arrived, the more cuts one received. During cold and damp mornings, the children would gather quite early under the uh, eaves of the schoolhouse to escape punishment. Satcha would sympathize with his fellow students' plight by bringing stray pieces of clothing from his house to help make the boys comfortable. The elders at home discovered this and since they could do nothing else. They locked inside their boxes all the clothes they could not afford to lose. It was very difficult for the family to comprehend Satya as a little boy. See this. The spirit of service and concern, sympathy, for his classmates who are genuinely punished for coming late. 
but Swami helped them by giving them some clothes so that they would cover themselves in that severe cold season. This is necessary. Concern for fellow men. Sympathy, consideration are important values that we can learn from Bhagavan himself. At school, such as remarkable musical talent started to blossom. He had a melodious voice and would induce his friends to join him in singing simple devotional songs called bhajans. The Karanam, the head of the family, asked the boys to sing the bhajans in front of their house, offering a bag of full of puffed rice at the end of the session. Sacha was so small that he could not even be seen properly within the group. However, he was the most active bhajan performer, jumping and dancing enthusiastically while singing. This talent led to reorganizing and leading the Pandari Bhajan's group, which in years to come would lead to the establishment of Bhajan singing in such an organization throughout the world. Such as group consisted of about 15 to 20 boys of his age, carrying flags in their hands and wearing bell anklets. They used to go around the village, covering the most important meeting places. They moved around the nearby villages as well. When the Pandari Bhajan group visited a village, people cleaned their house properly, welcomed the group and fed them. The villagers believed that because of the influence of these Pandari Bhajans, the dreadful epidemics of cholera, which had been playing havoc in the neighborhood, never touched Puttaparthi. That is Bhagavan. Doing everything for good of the village. Training the boys in singing bhajans. In learning and also display their talents. Really speak very high of Bhagavan Baba himself. See this? Because of the Pandari bhajans, that color are never touched. Puttaparthi, the epidemic. This is the influence of Bhagavan that made everybody consider, consider him as an avatar. Therefore, my friends, Baba's qualities must be studied in depth and we should emulate his example. And then I go to the next divine quality of Bhagavan. Today, as you all know, there is no caste distinction, racial discrimination in Prashantinalaya. All sit at the same place, all dine at the same place, they all line in queues without any kind of hesitation, no division, no caste distinction. Swami never observed this kind of uh, division, never. He always wanted all the devotees to mingle together, work together like brothers and sisters. And I can tell you, during Pandari Bhajans, he used to jump up and down while dancing. Once there was a Pandari Bhajan competition between Harijans, the outcasts, and other groups. 
the next day sacha visited zonnala narsappa in the harijan slum where the outcasts live and said that they had performed the bhajan very well even in those days sacha never treated harijans separately many times he visited the slum without the elders knowledge so this kind of equal mindedness the spirit of equality the sense of brotherhood have all been promoted by bhagwan himself my intention is to highlight some of these qualities so that we ourselves will learn and teach our children thank you very much